Social anxiety affects roughly 5% of the population. It is a widely known psychological phobia, characterized by self-awareness, social withdrawal, and low self-esteem. Some people with social anxiety simply experience general shyness. Others with a major phobia can completely withdraw themselves from social interaction. This means they can't go shopping, go to live or public gatherings, or even leave the house. Josh was just 15 when he developed social anxiety disorder. Before that, he was the center of attention. Frank has suffered from social anxiety for several years. After undergoing cognitive behavioral therapy, he's slowly recovering. There are some days where I actually can't even leave my room because it gets me that bad. Um, there's some days where I've missed like a whole day from uni just because it's been that bad where I can't really integrate with the people around me. If I don't know anyone, where I'm, if I'm going somewhere that's going to be full of strangers, I can't do it on my own. I always need to have somebody with me, just for the, the moral support of having someone there. I get quite self-conscious in public and quite paranoid about people looking at me and judging me, so it affects everything like your routine and who you go out with. I think they definitely are, we are perceived as being different because a lot of people don't quite understand what it is and if I try and tell them that I can't do something they'll always ask me why. They'll ask me what the difference is. Say if we were all to go out together I'd feel fine because I was with them but if I was to go to a lecture on my own with 50 strangers I couldn't do it. When you kind of get quite anxious or stressed then my friends can treat me quite differently and they sometimes think you're putting it on when actually you're just not like it's just part of you and I think sometimes people don't understand that. Everyone starts off differently. Josh's was the result of becoming too self-aware too quickly. Again, this is not uncommon. People with social anxiety often try to act normal, only to achieve the opposite effect. He would worry about how he came across to other people. For the last two years, he'd gone back and forward to the same places. Every time he'd sit there and wait for someone to approach. He would feel like the world was crumbling down around him. How can I help? He just couldn't do it. He could not bring himself to words. He would feel a degrading sense of pressure. He just could not focus or concentrate on anything, but getting out as fast as he could. If I'm with my friends and we're planning to go on a big night out and I, we all get ready, then I'm like, oh, actually, I don't want to go, like... And then I li physically can't go out. I just get really like too nervous that people are going to judge me or anything. I went to my doctor on the advice of my ex-girlfriend, and I was that's when I was diagnosed with it. And I was um, asked to try cognitive behavioural uh, therapy, which isn't always helpful for everyone. Some people it works a lot for. Some people it doesn't work at all. But for me, it helped just enough for me to confront my problems, and it g gave me coping mechanisms. But the biggest advice I can give anyone is just to talk to people about it. Because as soon as you explain it to people, then all of a sudden it doesn't quite feel as scary. He always seemed too quiet, too unaware of the bigger picture. But he never questioned it. He could never see himself for who he was. His anxiety clung to him like a poison. So he stepped in. Can I sit down? Yeah. Hi. Hi. So, what's your story? Social anxiety is not an easy condition to overcome. And if you are one of these people that does suffer from it, just know that help is available.